Hi everyone, my name is Krista. I chose Raisin in the Sun for the uh, oral presentation project. I chose this play because I felt it most readily lent itself to scrutiny in terms of social issues. Uh, the two main characters I chose are Mama and Walter. I chose them because uh, they have two very different viewpoints on their current shared situation. Uh, Walter is introduced in the very beginning of the play when he comes out of his and Ruth's bedroom and onto the stage. And the first thing he does is ask if his son is out of the shower yet and he's already kind of aggravated. Uh, and he walks around half asleep and um, suddenly remembers that the life insurance check is supposed to be coming that day. Or at least soon. Um, and the first conversation of the play uh, takes place between he and Ruth and it's tense and irritated and um, kind of revolving around uh, Walter's desire for something bigger from life and his general unhappiness. Um, and then he goes off to work um, after this argument between he and Ruth. And then Mama comes into the play and um, begins commenting on how her children are angry and have bad tempers. And then she begins criticizing Ruth for feeding their son um, a cereal, I think. And Ruth responds in a way that tells the audience this happens kind of frequently. Um, then um, Ruth, is, Ruth tries to talk to Mama about the life insurance check that's coming, but she doesn't really want to discuss it. Um, but she does eventually give her opinion that she won't give Walter the money for um, the liquor store investment that he really wants to do. Um, as, and you can kind of tell that Mom is not as concerned with money as the rest of the family is. My initial impression of Walter is that he's quick to anger and a very unhappy man, kind of the kind of unhappiness from years and years of the same bad stuff happening to you. Sort of a, a weary unhappiness, I guess. And um, my initial impression of Mama is that she's not as concerned about money as the rest of the family. She's a lot more easygoing in terms of finances. Um, and you can also tell that she's a deeply religious woman. Uh, in terms of how each character behaves. I would say Walter is very quick-tempered when it comes to money and very passionate about his desire for it. He's also extremely defensive of his hopes in terms of the liquor store and his ideas in general, um, which probably comes from him being put down uh, for them for most of his life. I think he behaves this way because of the nature of his job. As a chauffeur, he's constantly driving around this, you know, this rich, older white man, and he's subjected daily to the excesses of this man's lifestyle. And I think that's just wears on him, you know, especially while his family's living in this cramped apartment and always worrying about money. Um, so I think that's just kind of gotten to him. Um, I believe that um, Mama behaves the way she does and about the money is um, that she's just happy with what they have. Like, it's kind of a big improvement from what uh, she had, I assume, when she was younger. Um, so she's, she's pleased with the life that her and her husband have built. It wasn't, it's not exactly what they wanted, you know, they wanted a house, but this life insurance money will allow them to buy the house, and f I think for Mama that's just a really big deal, so she has a lot to be happy about in this uh, situation. Walter and Mama come into conflict um, about halfway through the play when the life insurance check finally arrives, and it's revealed to Mama that Ruth is pregnant. When Mama tries to tell Walter that Ruth is pregnant, he doesn't really want to listen to her. He just wants to talk to her about uh, the plans for the liquor store, and... Um, and Mama really does not want to talk about that right now, obviously, because there's more important things. So when Mama keeps, uh, when Mama doesn't really talk to him about that, he basically stops listening to her. And eventually, she just tells him that Ruth is pregnant, and he is um, 
really, um, like, shocked and um, quiet and just leaves, which ends that first conflict. There's another brief conflict conflict in the play between the two of them when it's revealed that Walter has lost all of the life insurance money. Um, but that was uh, really abrupt and um, disseminates pretty quickly. Um, and to uh, talk about how the social themes of the play have were wrapped up in the end or resolved, um, I chose racism and economic inequality and economic inequality as my social issues. Uh, obviously, they were not solved by the end of the play, but they are greatly I mean, yeah, greatly improved upon, I would say, in terms of um, finances. They buy the house, which is a big step for them in the right direction economically, so that's better for them. Um, and in terms of racism, when it comes time for Walter to decide if he would rather admit to the uh, white homeowners association guy that they don't belong in that neighborhood because they're black, uh, so that he could get that money, or to be proud of his um, his heritage or ethnicity or race, um, he chooses uh, to be proud of his race and. Most importantly, he expresses to his son that he's proud of his race. So for Walter, and I think to some extent for the whole family, um, they feel a little bit better about, um, or a little bit stronger in their their um, uh, ethnicity in this in this climate in America at that time. Um, so finally. Uh, to talk about what I have learned over the course of the semester. Um, I would say that over the course of the semester, I have been um, subjected to authentic viewpoints from people of different cultures from my own, different backgrounds from my own. And in many cases, it's really humanized those, uh, in those cultures for me. Um, I noticed this particularly after watching Me Familia, uh, the movie gave me insight into um, the, the harsh realities of migrating into America and living in East LA as a as a Latino of some variation. Um, uh, for me personally, that that movie really made me think a little uh, less harshly towards, um, I guess, uh, gang members or um, repeat criminals. Um, particularly like members of my family that I've judged really harshly in the past, uh, it made me realize I did not have as much room to judge them as I was. Uh, in terms of globalization, um, I would say that the play Golden Child introduced me um, to, the pers to globalization from the perspective of another country and culture, um, especially the way that the family uh, finds Westerners so odd and um, funny. Uh, so, um, I think that, um, that, that the, uh, play Golden Child really sort of, um, really sort of, um, changed the way or, uh, broadened the way that I think about globalization from, um, especially just from other perspectives, which I had never really considered before. I'd always considered it from my own American perspective. Um, and ultimately from the class, I think I learned a lot about theater in general. Um, so yeah, that's my final project.